In this video, I am going to talk about getter and setter methods for a class. So, we previously had an example from my phone. So, uh, the big three for uh, classes are instance variables, constructors, either the zero argument and or the uh, multi-argument, where I can provide parameters, and then a two-string to print things out nice and neatly. Okay. There's another uh, set of methods called getters and setters, which act, uh, let us uh, get individual instance variables or set them to different values. So the con this constructor here sets them initially, but then we can, as the program goes along, change those things. Uh, so for instance, a memory upgrade, uh, maybe calculating the cost with tax, maybe changing the color with a new um, cover and so forth. So we can change these things. So let's see how we do this. I'm going to, for this example, uh, deal with the memory capacity. So again, we're dealing with two methods here, getters and setters. So we're going to get values and set values. So I'm going to say public uh, int get memory capacity. One, two, three. And this is the basic template. We are going to let's see end method get memory capacity. And in this uh, method, I'm simply going to uh, return what the capacity is. It's like hitting a button on the phone. So there's a button that says get stat on memory. I can hit it and I get back or I'm returned. That's what this thing here. I'm returned an integer value. I don't want to move it. And it really all the code is is return memory capacity. That's it. I just get it. And I return an integer. Okay, it's a little bit different than toString because toString actually returns a string and prints it out in the context of a sentence or something like that. This simply just gives me back the number. Okay, the setter, as you can probably guess, is setting a value. So I'll say public void. You'll see why I do that here. Set memory capacity, and I'll say ints memory one two three and method. The set memory capacity, and what this is is saying, okay, give me a number from memory, and I'll set it to that. So if I'm upgrading from four gig to sixteen gig or sixteen to thirty-two, I can supply the uh, user with the with the number, and it'll set that. So I'll simply say something like uh, memory this dot memory capacity equals memory. Okay, and we'll put those to work here in a second in the, in the driver. So get and set. Um, so let me go back here and let's go to the driver. And the driver is simply creating two uh, phones on, on my cell and a home cell. And I'm going to print out the stats. So this is not doing anything with the getter and setter yet. So I'm going to print it out and run it. This is the stat from the my phone. It's a zero argument constructor, no color. And this is the my phone with a uh, some. 16 gig of RAM, cost is $19.99, blue, and the Wi-Fi is on. So let's change some values here. Let's go to the let's go to the my cell. And the my cell has no information set. So what I'll do is I'll go down here, I'll go down a couple lines, system dot out dot print line. And I'll give me backslash and give me a couple of lines here just so you can see some separation. And I'm gonna say uh, my my cell dot get memory capacity and I'll actually print that out I'm going to say system dot out dot print line I'm just going to get it so it's going to return to me an integer as we saw and I'll see that integer and then I can also do uh, let's see my cell right now it's uh, doesn't have any memory I'm going to put some memory in it dot set memory capacity and I'll say, you know what, let's make it 32 gig, 32 gig. And then just to see if it actually worked, I'll get it again. So this should give me nothing because it's initially a zero gig my phone. I'll set the memory to 32, I'll put 32 gig in there and I'll print out again. And then the resulting, this is calling the two string. Let's see what happens with the two string. Let's see what it says or what it thinks. So. I'm going to, uh, again, to review, I'm going to get the memory capacity, which should be 0, set it to 32, get it again. Now it should say 32, and then see how that's reflected in two string. Close this, compile it, and run it. And you can see here, 
there's my couple lines here. The uh, memory was initially zero, now it's 32. So I, I upgraded the memory, I set the value to 32. And you can see that in the, this two string, which is, starts with the my phone here, I have the 32. Versus before I had zero. So I can set things. Okay, so in the in the class, that's another pair of methods that are used a lot. Um, get memory, return an integer. Didn't take anything. I didn't supply with any information. I just hit a button and it um, returned something. This one required me to give it something, as it should, a number, because I need to tell it how much memory. And this void means nothing. It doesn't return anything. It just does something internally uh, to the phone. So I don't see any effect of it. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, make this a boolean. True or false, and if the memory upgrade was successful or not, but for this one, it's uh, simply a void. One other little thing here. Um, it may seem at first that you're making these variables private so that you can't vary them, you can't change them, because they're private. But then down here, I simply make a method called, well, let's set it. So we're kind of overriding the privateness of the data. Well, that's true here. However, in this set memory, we could make it a little more uh, complex. We could make it so that a person has to type in a password or a username password or some kind of code so that first so that they can do it. Uh, so here I'm just giving the user the ability to change it, which might be fine, but you could also get more complex uh, by using a username password thing or maybe limiting what this number can be. Might have an if statement saying with the memories over 128, that's not possible. If it's less than zero, that's obviously not good. Um, so this can be a little more complex and can take care of situations um, where you might want to uh, Make some, put some limitations on, on the number or if they can actually change it. So uh, that's uh, the discussion of private versus public here. All right, so two other methods, getters and setters for classes, and uh, that's how you can put them into a class and how you can demonstrate their use in a driver.